Hello and welcome. I just slap myself so hard. Hello and welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name's Sylvie. Um, today I want to talk about summer fashion trends. Here's the thing. It's August. <laughs> So summer is um, almost which is very sad. I'm not excited about it. I live in Seattle. Um, it's very rainy year round, as you may know. So these summer months are really precious and I love summer style. And so I thought I would share with you just some pieces that I've been loving this summer. As it is summer, and it's also very hot in my apartment and very bright. So if I just start sweating and melting, like, don't mind that. This video is gonna be a little all over the place just in terms of category and topic, but I'm gonna do my best just to like consolidate everything in a way that makes sense. The first thing I wanna start with is actually something I'm wearing right now, which is dainty gold jewelry. Personally, I'm a huge fan of gold. I prefer it over silver, but that's just me. I know some people are like very diehard silver. Some people don't care either way. Some people mix metals. like. Of course, that's totally up to you. Personally, I love just like simple gold dainty jewelry. I think it's just such a good way to elevate any outfit. It looks really classy. My favorite piece lately has been this gold pendant that's from Madewell, as well as this croissant ring. Also, don't look at my nails, I just did that. <laughs> and some of my favorite brands are Ana Luisa, Majuri, and Gorjana. Gorjana? A lot of my friends are like sponsors for them, so if you know the correct pronunciation, Please let me know. The next category, trend, whatever you want to call it, piece that I love. <laughs> Excuse me. The next piece that I love is something that I'm also wearing, which are button downs. I look very coastal grandma, as they say right now in this blue button down. Uh, but I've always loved button downs. I think they're just so easy to throw on. Again, they can just elevate a super simple outfit. If you just throw a button down on over just a simple white t-shirt and jeans, you just immediately look just so classy and it adds a little bit of layering and detail, which I really like. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorites, just this blue breathable white and blue striped button down. I love wearing this to work. I can dress it up or down. I can wear it to the beach, it's just like a little cover up. I love this. I recommend everyone get a blue and white striped button down. I also just have a plain simple white button down. I think that's another staple that everyone should have in their closet, especially for like a capsule wardrobe and just a few other random ones and then just a few other miscellaneous ones. Again, just a great layering piece can add just so much detail and dimension to an outfit that otherwise might not have it and are perfect for summer. The next clothing item I want to talk about as one of my favorite summer of 2022. Honestly, every summer this has been one of my favorite pieces that I always come back to, which are long skirts and dresses. I think these are just the perfect summer piece to have in anyone's closet. There are so many cute long skirts and dresses out there these days and they're also really easy to thrift. Personally, I prefer a long skirt or dress over, you know, just like a t-shirt or a tank top and shorts. I just think it's a little more interesting than just like a plain summer outfit. And there's just so many styles these days. You can get gingham, you can get, you know, ruffles, you can get floral, you can get whatever your heart desires, basically. I love a long skirt or a long dress in the summertime. I just think they're beautiful. You can also layer them and they just look cute with so many things. Like there's just endless ways to style them. So big fan. Also to be, just to like put this out there, I'm fairly tall, I'm five foot nine. And the thing I hear a lot from people is, oh, I can't rock a long skirt or dress because I'm more petite or I'm shorter. I think they look good on everybody. Like I'm serious. Like I would just say, I honestly can't speak to like a solution just cause I'm already tall, but my first instinct is just to hem it or just cut it yourself. Cause I think no matter your height, it is so flattering just to have your figure elongated by just like a long dress or skirt. Even if it's not very tight, I think it's just a beautiful way to like elongate your entire body. So honestly, if you're short, I actually think it's a great way to look a little bit taller. I might be totally wrong here. If I am like completely talking out of my ass, like please call me out in the comments. But I think that everyone should invest in a lovely, beautiful summer dress, long summer dress or summer skirt. The next piece I've been loving are overalls. Again, 
just such a staple for summer clothing, in my opinion. They're so easy to throw on. I think they just add this beautiful dimension and layering. They can look kind of cottage core, they can look kind of edgy, and they're also really easy to thrift. So I love overalls. I love like a baggy pair of blue ones. I have a pair of white ones that I cropped into shorts. Overalls are so versatile and so comfortable and just so easy to throw on. I love the look of just like a pair of overalls over a swimsuit. I think that looks really cute. Also this line in the middle of my face is <laughs> very annoying because the sun is right there. I'm gonna like reposition a little bit. That's a little better. It's still on my shoulder, but that's fine. The next category I wanna talk about are crochets and knit pieces. So I think like two summers ago or maybe last summer, crochets really exploded as a trend. Personally, I think with crochet and knit pieces, it is very easy to go wrong. I also just wanna say, again, this is all just my opinion. You do not have to listen to anything I say. If I say I don't like something you love, don't, you know, that doesn't matter. It's just, I'm one person, like do what makes you happy. I just, for me personally, in my personal style, really love crochets and knits as more accessory pieces as opposed to like the centerpiece of the outfit. For example, I love this crochet bag. I got this at a flea market in Seattle. I will tag the creator down below. They make amazing knit pieces. I love this checker design. It's so cute. And I can actually fit like a lot of stuff in here. So I think investing in some sort of crochet piece that you can kind of carry around more as an accessory is a really good alternative to sort of that full crochet, you know, dress or matching set or whatever it may be. And also, I like crochet is more just like a layering piece or a cover up. I think that's also really cute. I think just making crochet or knits not the focal point of your outfit in the summer months is just much more interesting and provides that little bit of detail. Next, and this may seem very obvious, but I still just wanna mention it anyway because I think a lot of people probably relate to this. For me personally, I've really been trying to build more of a capsule wardrobe, just basics that I can rotate through pretty much every season, but especially for summer, I think it's really useful to just have an arsenal of really basic, simple tops that you can just mix and match and wear and throw on with different outfits and it'll look good no matter what. I think everyone should just have a simple white tank top, a simple black tank top, maybe a gray one, like a tan or nude one, maybe like a pop of color, like a green or even a blue. Um, also brown, I love brown. This is actually a bodysuit, but I love this piece just as like a neutral. I just think neutrals and basics in summer, you can't go wrong, you know, just like a black tank top or a black t-shirt with a pair of shorts or a cute skirt or whatever it may be is, just perfect for summertime. It doesn't even have to be expensive. You can thrift just like a plain white tank top so easily. I definitely recommend investing in just like simple tops for the summertime. Next, I'm gonna be moving into two broader like categories as opposed to just specific pieces. I guess I already kind of talked about categories, but I wanna talk about purses and shoes. I'm gonna start actually with shoes. And here's why. I don't know if anyone else thinks this, but I think shoes say everything about a person. I don't know why, I've been this way my whole life, but whenever I meet a person, or even just walking down the street, again, don't judge a book by its cover. I just think they say everything about a person. I don't know why, I just think they reflect like personal style, trends you follow, etc. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite shoes for summer. Of course, these, these can be worn in other seasons as well, but these are my go-tos, and I would say, honestly, like staples in my wardrobe at this point and are just great things to have. The first shoe I wanna talk about are loafers, just like a plain black loafer. I absolutely love these shoes. I invested in a pair last summer. I have a pair of Doc Martin Adrian's, I believe is what they're called. They are so sturdy and well-made and cute and versatile and go with so many things. And again, are just one of those pieces that really elevates a really basic outfit. And they're great for all seasons, but I love a good loafer in the summer with just like a pair of little white crew socks and a skirt or jeans or honestly, whatever. So loafers, 100%. My other staple shoe, just sort of in general, but especially in the summertime, are my New Balance 574s. These are just the perfect sneaker, in my opinion. I like them because they're not like the super chunky kind of dad sneaker, but they're a little bit edgier and more interesting than just like a basic white sneaker. Nothing wrong with that, but just me personally, I like something a little more interesting than a white sneaker. They're super comfortable, like crazy comfortable. I can walk forever in them and they go with a lot of stuff. So great, just like staple sneaker to have in your closet for the summertime. Next are Birkenstock Bostons. These 
are my favorite shoe probably. I actually thrifted mine last summer, which was such a good find. I found them in New England, but I think these are just such a great summer easy shoe. Like what else is there to say? They're just like a slip on clog essentially or like a mule. Um, they're super comfy. I think they go with a ton of stuff. Also cute for like fall and winter as well. Again, like such a versatile shoe, um, but I love that you can just throw them on and they're kind of just fun and a little crunchy. I love, I love the Birkenstock Boston. Definitely worth it. Definitely a good shoe for the summer, especially if you're like not a huge sandals person. Like I kind of struggle with sandals. So these are kind of like a good alternative to that, if you will. My next favorite shoe for summer are my Doc Martin sandals. Any sort of chunky black platform sandal in general, I think is just so cute for the summertime. It's not like your simple, you know, flip flop or even like, I don't know. I don't even know what people wear in terms of sandals in the summer. Just cause again, I'm not like a huge sandal person, but when I found these, I was like, these are it. Like these are awesome. They're again, super just easy to throw on and comfortable go with a lot of stuff really tie together an outfit they're just a great summer platform sandal especially if you're someone like me who doesn't really like traditional sandals in the summertime cowboy boots of course i have to talk about cowboy boots i love cowboy boots i used to hate on them so hard and then i found a pair last summer that were just perfect i just have a plain black pair obviously there's tons more out there and they're also super easy to thrift i just love a cowboy boot with like a long skirt or jeans or whatever it may be. I think cowboy boots are such a timeless piece and really go with everything. Granted, they don't stay the coolest, especially in the summer, but for like a night out or whatever it may be, I think they're just, they're perfect. The next shoe I wanna talk about are Solomon hiking shoes. I, this is kind of random, but basically I was at REI the other week and I saw a pair on sale that were super cute and really similar to a bunch of stuff I've been seeing on Pinterest and TikTok, etc. And they were my size, so obviously I had to buy a pair. I think these are really cool. I think these are gonna be like the new ugly sneaker. I think they look dope. They're kind of outdoorsy and crunchy, but also just unique and like, honestly, just cool. So <laughs> these are definitely gonna be a big part of the rest of my summer. Um, and you can like hike in them, which is really cool. And I'll probably have them forever. So kind of ugly hiking boot, I think is gonna be a thing very soon. And then for bags, I just wanna talk about two bags really quickly. First of all, my Bagu cross body bag. Bagu cross body bag. This bag is like, I don't know who I am without it. I literally use this probably every day. It is the best bag I've ever owned. It is so cute, so well made, holds deceptively a lot of stuff. And Bagu is just such an amazing brand and they come out with so much cool stuff all the time. So definitely go check them out. They have a bunch of different designs and styles and they're just an amazing brand. But this crossbody bag literally has changed my life. Like I wear this all the time. I strongly suggest getting one. Like they are really worth it and perfect for summer. I don't love like having to carry something on my shoulder as much. So having just something I can sling around. I also have just seen like fanny packs being really popular again. So this is sort of a take on that. I think it's actually technically called a fanny pack. I call it my crossbody bag because I always just wear it crossbody, but bag you, fanny packs, 10 out of 10. Okay, and I know I literally just said I don't like shoulder bags, but my one exception are tote bags. I love a good tote bag. I mean, come on. You can fit so much stuff in them. They're, I like them more for just like a picnic or taking them to the beach or something, but just a great staple to have in your closet and super easy to find. Great way to support like independent brands or artists. Usually their merch has some sort of tote bag involved. So tote bags are definitely a must for the summer months. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sure there's stuff I forgot. Uh, I know summer's coming to a close very soon. So probably this advice slash opinions aren't even gonna be that, you know, valuable in a month's time. Thank you anyways for watching. Um, again, these are all just my opinions. Whatever you like, you go and rock it. You go and own it. You go and love it. Like this is literally just what I think and I am just one person out of 7 billion. So thank you again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you like. My name's Sylvie. Stay tuned for the next video. And also let me know in the comments what you're wearing this summer and what you wanna see for the fall. All right, bye.